Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies, as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. The rival stands by his brother's bedside in the opening scene, set in London, England, while he lies in a coma, terribly damaged and disabled after being ejected from the jet. In the last Fast and Furious film, he swears to settle the score with his brother. Meanwhile, the main character drives with his girlfriend to a racetrack in the California desert where hundreds of their neighbors assemble for race wars, a game they created when they were youngsters. His girlfriend enters the race and easily outruns her opponent when his car breaks down on the track. That evening, a former agent of the Diplomatic Security Service continues to work late, while a patrol officer prepares to go out. The agent delivers her the letter of recommendation she requested. He wishes her the best of luck in her endeavors. He then notices the rival in his office, attempting to hack into his computer. He tries to arrest him when he is gathering information on the team that killed his brother. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline all from single platform. Sign up at QD today. The patrol officer returns for backup as the rival prepares a grenade. He throws it at the detectives, throwing them both out the window. While the man is getting his son ready for school, the main character pays a visit to his sister at her home. A huge box is outside their house. She informs him that she is expecting another child, but she has not informed her husband for fear of how he will react to further changes. He then receives a phone call from his rival while listening to his message after defeating the Korean street racer, who is his friend. He notices something is wrong and grabs his sister just as the package explodes, destroying the entire house. His nephew is safe in the vehicle. He then goes to the agent's hospital room with the officer. He explains to him who their rival is and what happened to him in the special forces, where he was transformed into a human machine. The agent urges him to guarantee him that he would permanently eliminate the man. Dom concurs. Meanwhile, the husband sends his wife and their son to the Dominican Republic to hide out until the situation with the rival is resolved. The gang meets for their friend's funeral, where they are joined by their friend. He notices a car driving strangely close to the funeral. He follows it after discovering it is the rival. They collide in a tunnel and fight momentarily until a team of agents arrives, giving the rival a chance to flee. Their chief, a shadowy agent known only as Mr. Nobody, pulls the main character along and joins the crew and ultimately his girlfriend for a mission. A hacker has been apprehended by a terrorist commander because he is after God's eye, a surveillance system that can spot anyone from anywhere in the world that the hacker helped to design, the device that can be used to track down the rival. The boys devise a plot to infiltrate the bus holding the hacker, while the main character asked one of his friends to assist him in putting armor on one of the cars. The plan calls for the five to drop from a plane in their automobiles and land carefully near their target. He pulls the chute out on his friends and suction him out of the plane after he develops cold feet. The other four crash land near the bus and break in. The terrorist commander's troops open fire on the team. He boards the bus and fights the guards. A young woman is found in her cell and he makes her jump from the bus and onto the bonnet of the main character's car for safety. The hacker is revived, and she tells the crew that she delivered God's eye to a friend in Abu Dhabi. They all travel there and meet Safar, Ali Fazl, who claims to have sold God's eye to a prince. The team travels undercover to a banquet hosted by the prince. The crew discover God's eye in a car. The girlfriend is forced to fight three guards as well as the prince's chief bodyguard. She notifies the guards to the presence of intruders, preventing the hacker from entering their systems. The crew then drove the automobile out of there before the gates closed. The rival appears and attempts to shoot his enemy until he drives out of the building and through the next. The crew is forced to jump to the next building after discovering that the brakes have failed. Before the automobile slides out and crashes to the ground below, the two jump out and pluck God's eye out. The squad hears via God's eye that Shaw is hiding out in an abandoned factory outside of town. After following him there, they discover that he has a lot of support from the terrorist commander. When Mr. Nobody is shot in the turmoil, the squad manages to avoid being shot. The man carries him away, and Jack and obtains God's eye. Mr. Nobody seeks medical attention and informs him that he will be leaving. 
The crew recognizes that it is past time to put an end to their feud with the rival. They resolve to take the fight back to their hometown of Los Angeles. In case he doesn't make it back, the husband contacts his wife to tell her he loves her. She informs him that they are expecting a daughter. He then vows to contact her again. The crew take the hacker with them as they attempt to hack God's eye in order to keep the commander from locating her. While the main character tracks his rival down and pulls him to a parking lot for their final fight, they are fighting on the street with wrenches and pipes. Meanwhile, the commander dispatches a flying armored drone to find the hacker from an armored stealth Blackhawk chopper. They end up shooting down an electricity tower, which the agent notices after seeing it on the TV. Daddy's gotta go to work, he says, breaking off the cast on his arm and getting ready. The hacker is moved under the bridge and joins the crew, while the other searches for a new location to hack God's eye. He runs into the commander's right hand again and defeats him by tying him to a weight and pushing him down an elevator shaft. The drone pursues the girlfriend and the hacker, almost capturing them until the agent arrives in an ambulance and smashes it by crashing into it off the motorway ramp. The rival has been imprisoned in a maximum security black site prison for good. On the beach, the crew observes the couple playing with their son. They recognize that this is where he belongs and gaze at them warmly. The hacker inquires whether he intends to say goodbye. It's never goodbye, he says. He drives away, only to be overtaken by his friend on the road. They glance at each other with a smile. His voice tells us that they both lived life at a quarter mile, which is why they are brothers. This is intercut with clips from his entire series and everything they have been through. He declares that he will always be his brother. He drives into the sunset as the two continue driving till they finally split ways at a fork in the road. For Paul, the text concludes the film. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.